Hello, and welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com. Today we're going to do a time freeze effect in Pinnacle Studio 14 Ultimate Collection HD. So, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is you want to record your footage. You want to record one shot of you doing whatever it is you want to do, whether you're um, falling down or running past something and or sliding down the slide, whatever it is that you want to freeze, you want to do that shot first. Next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the position of where you're going to do your freeze already set up so that you can walk around the subject that's frozen. Do not walk in front of the subject during the take. Just walk behind the subject that's going to be frozen because the subject is actually going to be in the foreground and all the video is going to be in the background. So let's get looking at these clips. Here's my recorded footage that I put together. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to stretch this out as far as I can because I want to be able to look at each frame when I do my freeze effect. So I'll go ahead and play and I'll stop it right there because I want to split the clip and delete off that first part of the footage because I don't need that. So I'll hit play. And it looks pretty good there. I'll bring it right there. So this is where I'm going to do my freeze at. So I'm going to split the clip here. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the toolbox. And I'm going to go to grab video frame. I'm going to go ahead and grab this frame. And I'm going to save it. And I'll give it a name that I can remember. And I'll save it there. Next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and play the video out. And I want to play it until the part where I walk out of the room. And I'll stop it there and I'll split the clip here because I'm going to edit that part out as well. And I'll go ahead and continue playing. And I'll stop there and I'm going to split the clip again. And I'm going to delete this part in the middle because I don't need that. So I'll hit play again and this should be the part where the subject walks back into the room. and looks at the floor and around the subject and looks at the subject. And then walks back out of the room. So I'll go ahead and split the clip there and delete the back end off because I don't need that. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and bring it back down to size so I can see everything that I'm working with here. So what actually is going to happen is this part where the subject is actually getting up is going to be at the end. So I'm going to drag that over to the end. This part in the middle is where the subject's gonna walk around the frozen subject. So what I need to do now is get that picture and change it so that I can have my subject walking around the frozen subject. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be back shortly. Okay, now that you've got your image you need to get out the background. A lot of people, what they do is they'll uh, go to a photo editor and they'll make the background green, they'll trace around the subject, and then uh, they'll go ahead and use a chroma key. They'll save it as a JPEG, and then they'll use a chroma key in the editing software to go ahead and take out the background. I'm going to kind of skip the chroma key part by just saving this as a PNG image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a file in Photoshop Elements, 
I'm going to go to Image, Magic Extractor. Now, what this does is able to help you take out the background and keep a foreground. So I'm going to go to the foreground brush, which is the one that has the plus sign. And I'm going to add my dots in. These dots tell the program what to keep. I can change the size of the brush make it smaller. I'm just giving you a quick example of how to do it. I'm not going to make this one perfect. Just keep in mind you want to keep the red on the part that you want to keep. Then you go to the background brush, you click on it, change the side of the brush, make it bigger, put your dots where you don't want things to stay, or you can just go like that. I like to put the dots just in case. And you want to do that on both sides. And in any areas where you do not want to keep. Change the side of the brush again to get in the small areas. Because you don't want these areas to get kept by mistake. In between the hands a good one definitely it'll try to keep that if you don't go in there get that stuff out and then you hit OK takes out the background keeps the foreground for you like I said there's a few on here that I could have did a little better with that um, but I'm just trying to show you the basics so you do file and you do save as and in a drop down you're going to change it to a PNG image that allows it all of the background where the checkerboard is to stay transparent and you're not gonna see any of the background in your shot After you get done with that, you want to go ahead and import it back into your video editing program. Okay, now that we went ahead and got our snapshot, you can see I have the original one that I saved and then I have the one that I created with um, Photoshop Elements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this down into the title track. And I'm going to go ahead and line it up with the track above it. I put it right on the one, right underneath the track where the subject is walking around the frozen subject. So you may need to open this up and fit it to the screen. But um, if you did a pretty good job with it, you're probably not going to need to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and play this to see how it looks. Everything seems to be lined up really well on here. So we're good to go. Subject walks around, subject walks out of the room. And then subject falls. Pretty easy to do. Now all you really need to do is go ahead and add in some sounds. Whatever sound you want it to be for the subject getting frozen, just add it into the uh, sound. Uh, track and put it at the front and at the, the end and you're done. There you go. How to do a time freeze effect in Pinnacle Studio 14 Ultimate Collection HD. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.